Welcome back to What Are Teen Noobs with General Disturbance. This is an AMX 50B, it's a tier 10 French heavy tank. It's located on the north spawn of Mountain Pass under the command of Filipperino. James started. Well, two marks on the barrel. And yes, he is very good player indeed in this tank. It's got four shots, it's an autoloader with an oscillating turret. Each shell is 120 millimeters, 400 alpha. Very efficient. And well, he's loading the APCR to start with. In fact, he's carrying a heavy load of APCR. I think the standard ammo is the AP, and he's only got 12 rounds of that. So he's got one mag of high explosive, three mags of standard ordinary AP, and 10 mags of APCR. So let's see how he gets on. Now this is quite a heavy, or heavy, a fast heavy tank, but it's actually got a very long reload, 30 seconds to reload. In this case, he's got it down. He's uh, whittled it down. It's a lot less than 30 seconds, but 2.5 seconds between each shot. Okay, he's having a quick look. Oh, I7. Looks like the enemy is right around that corner. Oh, gets one into the rear of the T-54 Mob 1. The Skoda pick finishes him off. Looks like they're trying to shoot across the bowl. And they made a bit of a mistake there. There's this Pajetto right now. Can we put a bit few rounds into him? Got to wait for the reload to complete. 26.78 seconds. It wasn't 30. He's got it down, obviously has uh, vents and probably a good crew. Now, oh, now, Skoda, yes, gets one into him, high roll, going for the 263 between the uh, lower plate. All he can do is track it, but he's tracked it in a way that he can put rounds into it. Okay, so he's in reload again. Just needs to pull back to avoid getting hit. Get out of the way of that T-30 with his big 155mm gun. And he's just going to relocate for the moment. Let them get on with it. And he's going to take up a new position. And I think the reason he's doing this is obviously the enemy actually appeared to make moves across the bowl. And there's an IS-7 and an AMX 50 b moving up the channel towards the ice road. So if he can get shots on them, this will make it a lot of fun. Now, it does expose him a bit. Oh, yes, he's got them. He's tracked the IS-7. Puts another one in. And another. This is going to be good. Yes. All four shells hit the target. 1,501 hit points from that mag. Okay, he's relocating. Now, tactically speaking, I suppose he could try and go around the ice road and help his team around there. But I suspect the reason he's going up onto the heights here is because the enemy has broken through on the Western Passage and he needs to fend off the attacking force. Plus, of course, that IS-7 has come across the bowl and he's trying to get up the direct route towards the cap. Okay, we've lost our Pajetto, who's the only guard, and now we've just got this T110E3 and us. Okay, now there's a nice little rock here which protects you, and he's taken out the IS-7 with one shot, but he was spotted. There's no RT, so it doesn't need to worry. Okay, he's got three shots to play with. There's the 263. Can use the rock. It's good. Ah, uh, didn't go through on that occasion. Can't get the second shot, but he can get that one in. Oh, it ricochets. Oh, that's very bad news, but he's now got a long wait for the shells to go in. If the 263 knows that, then he might try and make a rush in here to do some damage. But he's gone. The M46 Ripper pattern got him. So, can we get shots? We're loaded, ready to go. Okay, four shots ready to go. And it 
appears that the P-44 Pantera has pulled back. So is the AMX-50B and I'm wondering if they're going after the guys on the ice road. Here's the Udez. One shot into him and the E3 finishes him off just like that. Very nice. Bit of cooperation there. And he's opted to go straight for the reload. Whoa, 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 way to slide down. Expert maneuvering. It looks like they've killed off all but the T-34 on the ice road. We're now down to th just three tanks. So it's going to have to be a, me a mega carry if he can do this. The Pantera appears to have pulled back. He's not there. He didn't take any shots. He should have if he was uh, going to. Ah, oh, he was there. Okay, so we got one in. Two. Finish him off. Yes. And he's out of the game, but we still got one shell. But he's decided to reload. And that AMX-50B is trying to come up the direct route again. Now, I suspect that the enemy will probably try to come up the ice road. There's a Skoda T-27, a Standard B, a Conqueror, and a 53TP. So it's now three versus six. They're out number two to one. But, of course, they do have Filipperino. And there's one into the T-27. Lightly armoured, this vehicle. Go kill. Yes, he gets it. But he does take a round from the standard B. He's opted to go reload. The standard B must think he's got another shell. He's pulling back. Okay, let's hope this reload goes through and he can finish off the standard B. Team 123 can hold off the other three for the moment. Okay, we're loaded. Now. I think the standard B has probably pulled back. Yes, he has. But it's he really does need the the, the ripper pattern's gone out on his own in the on the bridge road, and he's nearing the cap. So where's that 53 TP? There he is, and he's running back to the cap. That one tracks him. And that one goes into its engine bay. 415, go for another one. And now for the kill shot. Yes, gets it. So it's now three versus four. <laughs> um, he's coming back to the cap. Letting the T110E3 know that we're coming back. The M46 rip pattern is probably going to make his way to the enemy cap. Try and find that standard B. He's found him. Now, can he take down that standard B? Oh, no, he can't. Just killed by the standard B. Okay, well, we're going to go around the corner, I think. And there's the strip. One in. Oh, didn't get that one in. Go for the lower plate. Yes, he got that one. So, it's now two versus three. They're still there in the bowl. They haven't come out of the bowl. And the E3 just disposes of the AMX-50B. This is getting interesting. Now, the standard B is coming up this way. He might meet Filipperino coming in the opposite direction. And he won't be too happy about it because Filipperino has got a lot more health than he has. Here we go. Is he there? No. And the Conqueror has managed to make it. And the T-123 has come, come down from his perch. And I think Filipperino is going to have to go and help. Oh, he does. No, he doesn't need to. E3's managed to kill the Conqueror. But since the standard B wasn't on this route and the Team 123 wants to platoon, or is it the Panzer Kampfart and Steven? Well, where is that standard B?
Well, our AMX 50B, the other AMX 50B, or is it, um, was that Filipperino? It was Filipperino who's actually thinking where, marking or pinging where he thinks the uh, standard B is. Oh, he's found him! He's actually on the bridge road. He's going after our E3. Filipperino is just one away from getting a top gun. If he can get this kill. Oh, we lost the E3. But we know where the standard B is and he's a one shot. Now, Filipperino knows he can get this. And the standard B must be bricking himself, thinking he's going to come up against the tier 10 heavy, who's almost full health. Filipperino's already got 7.1k of damage. I think that's almost certainly going to be a high caliber. Now, if you can get this kill, it will be a top gun as well. If he ex accepts the um, the two platoons, that would be nice for the other teams, the, the other uh, platoon members. But I think that Filipperino is more interested in making sure that he wins this one. Standard B is an auto reloader, but he has very little health. Now, I guess the standard B's really his only chance of winning this game is to try and ambush Filipperino as much as he can to spot him from long distance and try and get shots into him either while he's on the move or whilst he's in the cap. Well, there's only three minutes left on the clock. It's long enough for Filipperino to get to the enemy cap. But I don't know if it's long enough for him to get there and cap out. I doubt it. That's the two minute warning. Well, the enemy's only got, what, seven seconds to get into our cap if he wants to try and cap out. But I'm not so sure he'll do that. If he's smart, he will try to ambush Filipperino. Well, that's the one minute warning and we've got the countdown now. If I was in the standard B at this moment, I'd be running to a hiding spot and there's a good one down by the water down at grid square E0. But uh, if he's up here on the hill, oh he is, <laughs> end of game. Oh, he's trying to run. He's trying to run. He needs to be careful he doesn't go too fast down that slope. Because if he does, it could be fatal for him. And... <laughs> Ram kill! 
<laughs> That's ram kill roadkill. What a way to win the battle. Let's have a look at the end of battle stats. It's an ace tank for Filipperino in the AMX 50B. He picked up a bruiser medal for getting at least five critical hits. He got nine in that one. A fire for effect for doing more damage in the hit points to his own vehicle. A high caliber for dealing the most damage in the battle. And also a top gun for getting at least six kills. He got a six kill with his last one. Oh, what a way to win. Let's have a look at the team score. Well, there you go. You can see that he carried... 7,284 hit points of damage, but the standard B was the best player on the enemy team. He had 5,794 hit points. He was the second highest scorer in the game. The next highest scorer after that was the Conqueror, who managed 3264, and that was also on the enemy team. And our team won 1083, who valiantly tried to hold the cap, 3,105. Unfortunately, he was weakened by the time the standard B met him. It was just all over. And unfortunately, he was facing the wrong way when the standard B came across him. Um, when it came to kills, though, it was definitely Philip Arena with six kills. The standard B managed four. And then the Team 110 E3 managed three kills. And so did the Progetto on the enemy team. And when it came to base XP... Filipperino, 1,240, enough for the ace tanker, 793 for the E3, and 767 for our Progetto. He fired 28 rounds in that game, got 26 direct hits, 21 penetrations, damage of 7,284 hit points, and all of it was at close range. He received three hits, one penetration, two non-penetrations, and 360 hit points blocked by armor. He damaged nine of the enemy, killed six of them, and on a free-to-play account, he earned 61,904 credits. And after repair, ammunition resupply, and consumables, and he did fire a huge amount of APCR in that game. So he actually did make a loss of 98,766 credits. But don't worry, because he'll make that all back, no problem at all, in his strongholds or clan wars. He received 1,240 base XP. And there was no multipliers, so that's all the experience points he took away. But a very nice ace tanker, and it was went down right to the last minute. And what a way to kill the enemy, to ram him to death as you're sliding down the slope. <laughs> it's unorthodox, but it is great fun. So well done, Philip Perino. If you enjoyed that replay, please give this video a like. Do subscribe to our channel and hit that notification button. Thanks for watching.